hello guys and welcome back so for today is going to be a very quick job uh, I just need to paint this side of the wall is going to be as a feature wall let's say like that um, the color is just going to be uh, cream more or less the same like this one but I think it's going to be a little bit darker so without any further ado just going to jump quickly on it because I will have to finish it today and it's going to be this one and another wall inside uh, that room over there and we are going to go very soon on the other side but first I just want to finish this one quickly now I have all my tools and paint here the paint is going to be from Johnstone's I have a few brushes there and I just need to put it up now okay so right now I'm just going to start um, cutting in all around the, the edges and then I'm just going to apply a quick coat with my roller All right, so that is the first part. You can see uh, the cutting line was done. We need to cover all this mess around here. Hopefully we can cover all that with uh, two coats. I still need to do this other side. As you can see we have paper here. I can't do much about that because uh, we are not here to do any repairs, just to put a couple of coats of paint on alright so I'm just going to do that corner also okay so all my cutting in is done I just need to roll now you can see a little bit of difference between that and that the other wall is different so now you can see the difference between the feature wall and the normal paint uh, of the rest of the house so yeah everything it's it's done now and i just need to roll okay so i have my big roller here that is kind of a overkill for this small uh, wall but that means it is just going to get faster all right let's just start with this well, the only problem with this roller is going to take me half an hour just to fill it in Okay, so just one, uh, one coat of paint and that's it, all the stains are out. Now looks perfect and I just dipped one time with this roller into the paint and I've done all that bit. This is a sheepskin roller and it's going to take a lot of paint on it and that means you don't have to dip too many times. All right, so now I just need to do it on this other side. All right. And what you are doing here, I cannot paint with you on. All right, done. Just took me about two minutes to roll it in. It's always going to take more time to cut in, to do all the edges with your small brush, than to actually roll. 
once that you finish with all the cutting in it's very easy to uh, just roll it in yeah doesn't look that bad but anyway I'm just going to put another coat on and make it look even better I don't know if I told you the paint is from Johnstone's Johnstone's yes uh, usually I'm a Dulux person but lately uh, clients are uh, kind of uh, complaining we do lux pricing so I don't know Johnson's it's a good enough paint for me it's doing the job and I think it's up to the task if you ask me so I don't mind usually uh, tradespeople uh, once that they find one type of brand they like to stick with it because he's going to know how things are working with that type of product but i don't see the a, a big difference between uh, johnson's uh, johnstones and dulux so and dulux so i'm okay with it uh, it's not watery you can put it on easily it's not going to splash and those are the mains that i'm looking into when i'm using a paint so good job johnson's johnstone's john i i cannot pronounce that name is this one johnstone's okay johnstone's all right so i think it's ready but i'm going to cut it in once again uh one more time uh. this time i'm just going to go a little bit quicker i already have my lines okay so that is one side i'm going to go quickly on the other side cut in roll and that's it okay so i cut the second time all around the, the edges of the wall and i will just need to put a quick coat uh, in again so that is going to be the second coat And one side done completely. Just need to do that bit. All right, so that's done. I will just need to wait now, uh, see how it's going to be dried, if it's going to be any stain. If it's going to be any stain, then I'm going to put another coat on, but I think that is going to be enough. I uh, have to say the paint is not that bad. It's actually covering uh, uh, very well. So, yeah, I just need to wait one second now. Just need to see if uh, how it's going to look after it's going to be dried. So, all is done now. Meanwhile, I'm just going to jump on the other room over there. This is the second room and here I'm going to have more cutting in to do even around the windows that is going to take a little bit more time but meanwhile I'm uh, meanwhile I'm just going to take some of these accessories out because I don't need them it's just one over there and I think I have another one here and that is going to stay in my way yeah so I think that thing needs to go out okay 
that went easily out. All right, so I'm just going to clean it a little bit, take this dust out. And on the skirting also. Well, in between the skirting and the wall, because if not, all that mess is just going to go in your brush onto the paint and then you are going to struggle a little bit so it's better to do that before starting to paint So like I was saying, I don't need to do any repairs, it's just going to be a refresh of these walls, you know, take all these stains out and stuff like that. So it's still going to be a quick job. Okay, so I'm just going to start now to cut in all around the window. Uh, this one and that one over there is just this wall that I need to do. The cutting in around the window is done and I'm, so I'm going to finish it off with the mini roller. All right, so that is one window uh, finished, the window seals. Uh, window rebuilds and I'm just going to quickly jump on the other window and I'm going to leave this to dry and then I'm going to apply another coat so I can just finish with the windows first you can see the difference of the paint here and I have to say this uh, this paint is not that bad it's actually very good so I finished with that window and I started already to cut in uh, all around the wall meeting the ceiling. So I just finished with the cutting in, just a little bit of touching up here and there, and that's it. Now, the most difficult uh, thing to do is when when you are working. Most difficult thing to do is uh, when somebody is really watching you. You know, is just penetrating in your soul and doesn't let you work. It's very difficult to work with somebody like that. And in this case, I have somebody that is watching me and I don't know what to do. Look at that. This goose here, it's very, it's terrible. She is terrible. Look. Very hard to work with the goose around. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. Now I'm ready to roll. 
uh, all over these walls here everything that left I think I'm going to do that with the brush because the roller is not going to go and I, I don't want to take them off so I'm just going to touch them up a little bit And we are ready to roll. Okay, so I'm just going to apply my first coat, bottom sides, all this side, and that. And we are going to be closer to the finish line. Okay, so I'm quickly going to put the second coat on. I'm going to start with my cutting in and then roll again. I see that it didn't cover uh, very well on this side. So uh, the paint that it was before, it was a little bit lighter and uh, this is not going to cover because it's a lot darker. It's a little bit darker. So I'm just going to cut in again. Okay, so I just finished cutting in all around the windows, uh, ceiling and skirting. Now I just need to uh, put the final coat onto the walls. So let's start rolling. Okay. So it seems that everything is done now, it's still drying a little bit and yeah, this is it. Okay guys, so this was our uh, small uh, job for today, uh, this feature wall, it's not a big difference between the colors, but as you can see here, it's a little bit more yellowish. And if we go there, it is a little bit of a difference. You cannot tell straight away, but I was yes. thinking that the uh, paint was the wrong one. But instead, I, I spoke with the client and that's it. They, they don't want a big difference between the colors. So this is the job, as you can see it here. And that's it. I will just need to clean a little bit all around, take all these out and uh, go home and have a relaxing evening. Uh, now, the goose is still watching, but uh, she is okay with the job. Uh, everything all right. Uh, the goose is happy. So that is everything that it matters. So at this point, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, see you on the next one.